Welcome to Winging It. We're playing Arkham Horror the Card Game today. This is A Dark Side of the Moon with Tommy and Luke as I am uh, continuing their uh, Dream Eaters campaign and the Dreaming side. Uh, Tony and Mandy are on the Waking side. If you look in the links below, you can see uh, the, the upgrades I had going into this, which there's 12 XP for each of them to spend, so it's quite a bit. Um, so let's get to it. I have uh, on Stick to the Plan, uh, Tommy has... Uh, ever vigilant, extra ammunition, and prepared for the worst. So we can try to pull out a good weapon. Okay, we're drawing up five cards. One, two, three, four, five. We are looking for weapons. Okay, so near the crime, we've got a safeguard. We definitely want safeguard. Um, we definitely want a beat cop. We're gonna throw away the scene of the crime and the beat and the uh, uh, look what I found. The true grit. And we'll draw two more looking for a weapon. Of course, we've got prepared for the worst if we need it. Okay. We get to replace this weakness. That's no hotel weakness. And we now have... Okay, we got Pecky. So we're in good shape. So... We're, uh... We're going to be in, uh... I don't know what else we could ask for there. And we can put it all into play with uh, Ever Vigilant. It's nice. Okay. Luke, get five cards. Okay. Well, Sixth Sense is awesome because we can get clues. Recall the future we definitely want. I'm not too worried about shriveling. Um, let's try to get an ally. Do we want Pathfinder? That would help us to be moving... We don't have the resources, but I think I'll keep it because I would like to get it. You know what? We're going to throw back the, the Pathfinder because we're not going to be able to play play it very easily. So um, I'm going to drop three more cards. We can pull it with Rook if we find Rook, but we really want to try to get an ally. <laughs> Another Sixth Sense, which we don't need. A uh, Shortcut and a Ward of Protection. All right. Our word of protection we will use as soon as we see a um, an ancient evils maybe gives extra time. Might regret throwing away that pathfinder. All right, so uh, they are now uh, at the moon. They're trying to rescue Virgil, uh, who is captured. So they're they're exploring the moon, trying to. Uh, see if they can rescue him, uh, and that is, I don't know how much else to describe the setup for this. It's pretty crazy stuff. So, um, our agenda is silent stirring. The silence of this place is deafening. There is no wind whistling through the air, no chirping of birds, no idle sound of any kind. This is a dead world. Though you know danger lurks around every corner, you hear no sign of the beasts or corsairs who call this place home. You must remain even quieter in order to stay hidden. And it's five to the threshold. And as I alluded, the, this is a very thin deck with ancient evils. It means they come up very quickly. Okay, and we're at 1A. In the belly of the moon beast, Virgil Gray is had, held captive somewhere in the vast, strange city of the moon beast. You must be quiet and cunning if you are to find him and escape unnoticed. Objective, only investigators of the City of the Moon Beast may spend the record number of clues as a group to advance. And we need six clues. So the City of the Moon Beast is right here, and we are in the Moon Forest. All right, and you will notice that there is doom on each of them. That is their alarm level, uh, which yeah, high alarm level is just bad. So um, it's, it but doesn't count for doom. So there's, there's no doom in the agenda right now. And they are on this uh, Moon Forest location. It's a force round with two clues, and you can also test agility five to hide among the strange trees. If you succeed, reduce your alarm level by one. Limit one success per game. Uh, and then, so that's one way to get uh, your alarm down. And then also you can take a free trigger during uh, your turn, except during another action, evade. If you fail, raise your alarm level by one. So you can just get a free evade action. You can pretend to be Finn for a, for a turn, but neither of these guys are, are going to be amazing at evading, so probably not doing that. It is a victory point location. We do need to get these clues, so... 
All right, Tommy is just going to go first. Uh, so he is going to spend all five resources using Ever Vigilant to play uh, Becky with two ammo. And uh, Beat Cup. And a Safeguard. If you haven't seen Safeguard, it's just a card that lets you, uh, it lets him move with uh, other characters. <laughs> so, that's uh, pretty good. Okay, so, Luke is going to spend three resources to put down a sixth sense. He's going to spend two resources to put down a call the future. And then for his last action, he will move into the moon crater. If we look, it says you can test five intellect to hide within the crater. If you succeed, reduce the alarm level by one on one success, success per game. And then at the end of your turn, if you are at the dark crater and have discovered one or more clues this turn, test three will power. If you fail, raise your alarm level by one. So you gotta be careful not doing that. Now, as he moves, Tommy will tap safeguard and go with him so they both go into this location at the same time and there are two clues and that is the end of his action so i wanted to get another location out so that if we draw uh tokens that six cents can get him um two locations worth um, it may also actually be worth opening up the city of the moon beast so that uh so that we can get it off there but anyway that is their turn so let's do upkeep oh huh Okay, I totally skipped <laughs> the, the rest. Uh, I played three assets and didn't uh, play and do anything else but Tommy. So uh, Tommy would have drawn a card. He is steadfast. And we're going to go ahead and just grab a resource. instead. Of, I just don't want to draw from my last action. And uh, and I need to, anything, anything I want to play, I'm going to have to get resources. Okay. Whew. Out of order. Already breaking the game. All right. So anyway, um, there we are. It's upkeep time. Tommy will get Bloodthirsty Dagger. We're not playing that. <laughs> Diluting our deck. And then uh, Luke will get a Premonition. Might be good for some of these alarm tests, I suppose. Okay. And then uh, we will go at 1 of 5 Doom. And we'll draw. This. Okay, we got a moonbound Bayaki. Okay, so it spawns in the nearest surface location, which is where they're at. Um, its prey is the highest alarm level, three or more, which they're both at one. Um, it's alert hunter, and when moving or engaged, the moonbound Bayaki ignores the investigators with an alarm level of two or less. Okay. So he's not going to do much. He's just going to kind of hang out with them. And then Luke will get... Close watch. Test four agility. If you fail, you must either discard the asset you control with the highest printed cost or raise your alarm level by one. Well, that is gross. Um, he should have gotten a resource. Man, I do not want to raise the alarm. Now, I can get rid of sixth sense. Do I want to water protection this? Is it worth it? thing is, is I have another sixth sense in my hand we're at three can we get up to beating four maybe i'm inclined to premonition this so we could commit shortcut to be up to four let me premonition this because i don't want to lose it and we can use recall the future so All right, so it's an Elder Sign, which is going to be plus one, place one charge on Gatebox. Okay, so, cool. <laughs> that, uh, we'll go ahead and take that. And we don't have to commit anything to this test, actually. And we get to put a charge on Gatebox. So, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely happy with that. All right. So I kind of want Tommy to open up the City of the Moon Beasts. So that when Luke does his thing, then he can uh, potentially get clues off of that location. Uh, 
Yeah, that seems good. Okay, so Tommy will go first. He'll move to the City of the Movies. We'll look it up. It's, it is it is a Shroud of X, which is the highest level among uh, all our level among all investigators, which is one. Um, there are two clues. And for us, at the end of the round, each investigator at the City of the Movies has two agility. Each investigator fails, must raise their alarm level by one. So not something... You don't really want to hang out here, which is why. Just kind of... I'd like to be able to get clues without having to actually go there. And Tommy will come back here. He will ping with the beat cop, putting a damage on the beat cop, putting a damage on this uh, fire key. And then I think we will just draw a card. So we'll draw Sergeant Monroe, which we could put into play if we had resources, which is probably worth it. Okay, so maybe we'll just grab resources and, and do stuff. Okay, so uh, Luke, is now going to investigate with six cents. He's going at two. He's, he's at uh, four, five, six, D2. Okay, that is an auto fail. So, gross. Okay, we're gonna investigate again. Oh, uh, yeah, we're, we don't have to recall the future because we're so high up. But. Okay, we are at minus two. So we get a clue. And we are going to... Minus three, so we got this clue. Sadly, we didn't get any of the picture tokens. Now, if we stay here, we would have to uh, test three willpower. If you fail, raise your alarm level. I kind of don't want to do that. So I am going to play shortcut. I'm inclined to move away from Tommy, which may not be the best idea, but we're gonna do it anyway. He's gonna shortcut as if he's at this location and then move into this location so we can open it up. I didn't wanna stay here because I didn't want it to take that low power test. So this one is, um, you can, it's a three shroud, two clue location, victory point one. Uh, test five low power to hide inside the forbidden temple. If you succeed, reduce your alarm level by one. After you discover any number of clues at the temple of the moon lizard, you must either take that much horror or discard that many cards from your hand. So, oof. You're losing cards. Okay, so he is there, and there are two clues. And we don't, since we didn't end there, we're fine. All right. We can at least discard the sixth sense instead of taking a horror, which is a thing. Um, and Tommy can't safeguard to go with him uh, because he moved two locations away. So, all right. Um, but Tommy wants to stay here to kill this guy, this uh, Bioki with the beat cop. All right, so we get a card and a resource. Tommy will get Psalm Val. Well, that would be pretty nice, actually. And he gets, he's up to three resources. And Luke will get, oh, Mr. Rook. Not quite enough resources to pay for him, but it might be worth it, actually. Well, next turn is probably worth it. Okay. We're at 205 zoom. And we're grabbing counters. And we'll... Okay, so Tommy's got deeper slumber. Uh, your maximum hand size is reduced by three and is checked at each time you draw one of the cards. So that, it puts him down to five, which is exactly what he has. That's fine, he can probably get rid of it unless like Luke spawns an enemy or something. Okay, which he does. So it's a uh, catch from Saturn, it's, it's swarming X, X is your alarm level, or the alarm level among investigators if there's no active investigator. After the host, uh, host of Saturn moves or is evaded, discard one of its swarm cards. Okay, so that is here and he gets swarming. All right. 
So Luke is not too really worried about it. We can evade and then clue and then clue, I think would be the plan. Uh, so we're evading at 3v2 and we beat all the, the, the picture tokens. So we'll just put negative two on recall the future. So we're evading at 3v2. Minus one, okay. So they are evaded and this goes away. So it's pretty nice. All right, and then we will investigate using six cents. We are at six V three. So we'll recall the future on negative four. Okay, that is negative one. If you fail, raise your alarm level. We do not fail, and six inch plus get a clue from that location. So now we are going to go at six v three. Call future is negative four. Minus two, we get the clue, and we will go ahead and use our gate box to go to the dream gate, and we're okay. Oh, we ha actually had to get rid of cards. So um, we actually would have taken a horror and got rid of Sixth Sense when we discovered those two clues. I should have said that. I wish Mr. Rook had been out so we could have put a horror on him, but it's okay. We do have Solemn Vow later on. Matter of fact, maybe we'll keep the Sixth Sense and just take two horror. I think that does make more sense. Yeah, I like it. All right, um, so Tommy is going to Deeper Slumber. He's gonna take two actions to discard Deeper Slumber because when you get two of those, it really stinks. Um, are those, those cats from Saturn's are Hunter, yeah, they are. Okay, um, and then he will uh, ping with a Beat Cup. Another damage on the Moonbound by a Key. Okay, and then uh, we're going to get a resource because we want to play this Sergeant Monroe. All right, so in the enemy phase, cats, uh, well, the end, end of the investigation phase, he leaves the dream gate and he goes to creation. Cats are going to ready. And then we're going to get to card, take the initiative. Nice. And a resource. Do we have two take the initiatives now? No, we have Steadfast with our other card. Still pretty good. Okay, and then Luke will get, oh, the tower. That, well, I mean, we weren't really committing much anyway, I guess, so. At least we got our weakness out of the way. Okay, so uh, we are now at three of five doom. And we'll draw. Okay, Somnophobia. Test five willpower for each point you fill by take one horror to a maximum of three horror. Okay, so we can, con can we can commit stuff to this test. Um, yeah, so actually if we do a steadfast this test, we get, um, for each willpower, we get two. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And for the fight, we get, we actually get for the fight as well, right? Because there's three icons of each. So, um, yeah, so that gets us to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> so I think that seems good. We'll go to uh, twelve versus uh, twelve versus five. Uh, take the initiative would just be nine versus five. Yeah, I mean, I guess we'll just keep this dead fast. And we'll just use the take the initiative because that's nine versus five is better than 12 versus. I mean, no reason to go up to 12. Okay, so. Nine versus five. Okay, that is 
minus one because of our alarm level. All right, and then we have uh, Luke. We'll get an Ancient Evils. We could Warder Protection that. And I think we will Warder Protection that. Even though it means I have a struggle with playing Mr. Rook. So, Warder Protection and we take a Horror, which isn't great. But it is what it is. Okay. So, Ancient Evils is warded. All right, um, so Tommy's gonna go first. So he is going to, first thing he's gonna do is play Song Vow onto, this is a fast action, on uh, to Luke, and Luke can tap that to move a horror onto Beat Cop. Okay, so for his first actual action, uh, Tommy is going to play Spend all five resources to play Sergeant Monroe. And just as a little refresher, apologies, bumped the camera there. As a little refresher about Sergeant Monroe, he is uh, what I got from Hotel Excelsior. He's a 3 3 soak, um, and uh, he can be assigned damage and a horror dealt to any investigator's location. So that's nice. And uh, when he's dealt any amount of damage or horror, exhaust him, deal that much damage or horror to an innocent. In to a non-innocent, sorry, enemy is location, otherwise he'd be a real jerk. Um, and any investigator at his location may trigger that ability. So that's pretty cool. All right, so we've got uh, Sergeant Monroe out there. We will uh, tap, uh, do a damage to Beat Cop, which kills him. He's He will have three damage and two horror on him. So he will shuffle him back in using Tommy's ability. And uh, let's see, how much Emma do we want to put on Becky of that four? Do we just want to put it all on Becky? I'd like to be able to play another ally if we get one. Oh, and that killed the Moon Beast as well. So that's done. Um, I think we'll just put four ammo on Becky. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So Becky is loaded up. Um, and then I guess we will draw a card and get True Grit. Oh, we'd like to be able to play that for sure. Um, so we will now take, uh, see that was a free, tr everything was free trigger. So we'll just take two resources and the next turn we will be able to play True Grit. All right, so I think for Luke, it's worth getting Mr. Rook out. And we're not worried about committing stuff, so we're not going to worry about the tower just yet, although that can be a problem. But when we, action one, we'll take a resource. Action two, we will play Mr. Rook. And he's got his three seekers. We'll put him over here on Charisma, because that's why we have a Charisma. We don't have a sounding revelation. I'm always used to having a sounding revelation with Mr. Rook. So we're gonna go nine deep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see what see what we can see. Um, Holy Rosary would be good. We have to pull attached from reality. Um, I'm inclined to actually just grab the emergency cash, and then maybe we can play Pathfinder next turn. I think that makes sense. So detach from reality means we have to go to we have one action left. We go to the, the bad side of his dream gate. Let's see, that is the happy side. This is the pointless reality. So we have to investigate and beat this if we want to get out of here. Without taking two horror, I'd rather not take two horror, but I mean, I guess we can put horror on Mr. Rook. And Tommy's got uh, Sergeant Monroe to soak it for us, so that's a thing. Is it worth trying to investigate? I think it is not. 
if I could just have one more willpower, I would do it. But it just feels like I am not uh, action efficient. It's too, too big of a chance of failure. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just play my emergency cash, which will give me three resources and draw a card, which will not be a weakness because... Okay, we got a shriveling. We could fight. Uh, but presumably next time we can get to Pathfinder. Okay, so it's, it, this is uh, at the end of the investigator phase. Send it out of play. Uh, and he takes two horror, so... More horror for Luke. Sad. But we'll put one on Mr. Rook. Okay. Uh, the cats. I think. Hmm. Yeah. We'll have him go here. And then Luke. And try to get that clue going the other way. Okay, and then we write everything. Or we can just move them here. And Tommy can just go kill them. <laughs> that seems, seems like a good plan. All right, I like it. And then uh, Tommy will get an upkeep. He'll get something worth fighting for. So we've got something worth fighting for and true grit. And plenty of ammo right now. Okay, Luke will get a deny existence. Okay, good. All right, we're at four or five doom. We'd be advancing now from that ancient evils. Okay, if we had to let it go off, we still might get an ancient evils. Uh, okay, we get the Corsairs of Lang. This is on Tommy. All right, so he spawns the nearest city or service location, which they're at a service location. Uh, it's a two, four, five. Uh, it's alert after it's Tax via its alert, needs to negative three evade for the remainder of its phase. Well, we are just going to be killing it, so it's not a big deal. Okay, and then we're going to get a moon beast. <laughs> okay, so this is on Luke. It's a five five one retaliate. After moon beast enters play, raise each investigator's alarm level by one. After you defeat Moonbeast, reduce each investigator alarm level by one. Oh, I wish I hadn't uh, left uh, <clears throat> the cats from Saturn. There they are. So everybody, the alarm level goes up by one. Alrighty then. Well, so how are we going to do this? All right. So going first, he will. Do his soul and balance, put a horror onto Sergeant Monroe. Then he's going to gate box into his happy place. <laughs> he is going to tap, and that puts the moon beast uh, onto Tommy. Well, Mr. Rook going nine deep. We are looking. Oh, we should have had another resource. I didn't take one. All right, uh, we're going nine deep. We are looking for a Pathfinder specifically. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, a Hawkeye folding camera would not be bad either, though. Well, but I think Pathfinder is just better. Oh, man. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, there we go. So we got the Pathfinder. And Hawkeye, Hawkeye folding camera though. I'm, I'm, it's my last chance to use it here in a second to get it get it charged up. But it's probably just not going to be useful in this scenario. Okay, so we have not taken any actions yet because the gate box was free. We will spend three resources. Put out Pathfinder. So that's action one. Over here. We will uh, move, and we don't want to end in the city of the moon beast because of that agility test. Um, so we have moved, uh, so we've taken the first action this way, Pathfinder. The second action was to move, and now we're going to investigate. 
So we are investigating at, with six cents, or at four by six to beat two. So our alarm level is two. Two, that is negative one. We do not fail, and we can use six cents to get this clue over here. So awesome. Then we will spend six clues. One, three, four, five, six. To advance the act. After hours of weaving around leprous stones and searching high and low, you finally spot a group of shackled captives being led single file from the docks to who knows where. Luckily, they are guarded by only two of the four Corsairs. You created this distraction loud enough to separate... Oh, that's going to raise our alarm level, yes. <laughs> enough to separate the pair and sneak by in order to flee, free the captives. Choose an investigator at the City of the Moon Beast to take control of the suicide of Virgil Gray. Story asset. Check the campaign log. If, Rand if Randolph was captured, he was not. That card's owner puts the set-aside Randolph Carter expert dreamer story asset into their hand. Well, we can't do that. But we do get Virgil Gray, so let's take a look at him. So, he is, after your alarm level is raised, either draw one card, gain one resource, or heal one horror from Virgil Gray. If there is more than one investigator in the game, give control of Virgil Gray to another investigator. If Virgil Gray is defeated, remove him from the game. Okay, so... We got B, and he doesn't take up an ally slot, so we'll just put him down here. All right, and then we, because we don't want to end our turn here, we will Pathfinder up to the Temple of the Moon Wizards, which also has a willpower test that we might be able to, to beat. So that's nice. Okay, um, also we need to look at this uh, Exploring the Moon. Okay, now you are reunited, it's time to get off this rock. Randolph informs you that the light side of the moon should be safe from the reach of the moon beast. However, we are on the dark side of the moon, hence the name of this. However, it is much too far for you to walk on foot. You'll have to find another way to escape. Objective only, investigators at the Temple of the Moon Lizard may spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance. And we need two clues. We have one clue. Okay, so that was his turn, right? Because we played Pathfinder, we moved, we investigated, and then we... Uh, Pathfinder away. So Tommy is going to shoot with Becky, who gives him a uh, plus two fight. So he's at four, five, six to beat five. <laughs> That's not great. And he will use a vicious blow And we'll commit the bloodstained dagger. So we're really hitting this. So we're at four, five, six, seven, eight to beat five. We are up by three. That is zero. So we do three damage. That's to this moon beast guy. Okay, I'm not too worried about him anymore because we can uh, use the stuff from Sergeant Monroe to deal with him. So let's, uh, he can hit him and we can kind of guard dog back as a super guard dog. Okay, uh, so next thing is we're gonna take a shot with Becky at the Corsairs of Lane. So we are at 6d2. That is uh, minus one. We do not fail, so we put two damage. Of course, here's a bling, and we will take another ammo off Becky. We're at 6v2. Minus two. Okay, they are, they are dead. All right. So now it's enemy phase. The cats from the Saturn come in, and they will hit us. We will put a damage once we start a row, the moon beast will hit us. We will uh, take a damage and horror on him. We will exhaust him and put uh, damage and horror back on him, which kills him, and he goes into the victory display. And that reduces their alarm level by one each.
so not too shabby. Okay, uh, happy with that. This guy readies. I'm gonna get a card. Get look what I found. Not that he's gonna be needing to investigate because Luke seems to have this in hand. My resource. Luke will get. Oh, and the Pathfinder. <clears throat> and a resource. Okay, now uh, the agenda advances. But it advances on time. Not uh, accelerated by uh, ancient evils. A single screech pierces the silence and you instinctively duck for cover. You have seen these creatures before. Horrid eyes, eyeless monstrosities that fly alongside the corsair's black galleys. Terrible things of bone and leathery membrane skin. A flock, of, a flock circles and screeches overhead. Have you been spotted? It doesn't matter. You cannot stay here any longer. Shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. Raise each investigator's alarm level by one. Okay, so they each get to raise their by one. Um, so Luke can take a card or a resource. He's going to take a resource. And then he gets control of Virgil. He goes over here to, uh, to, to uh, Tommy. And I'll just put it up here. So, okay. Resources will be good. Eventually, he'd like to, <laughs> to play this tower. All right, so now we are uh, on to... We have to shuffle the discard pile into the encounter deck. And the Ancient Evils goes back in. Boo. I wish I could get Diana as bronze out and uh, war protection. But it is not to be. I've got other concerns or not enough money to play all of that. Actually, I do if I can just grab her, which I could with Mr. Rook this turn. And maybe that's worth it. All right. And we've got the alarm is raised. Your pace quickens as the creature's pursuit grows more frenzied with each passing minute. The silence you once cursed is broken. The awful piercing screeches that punctuate the night are even worse. Now we're gonna draw some counter cards. This time you'll get okay, forced into hiding. You have to test willpower where X is your alarm mobile, which is two. If you fail, lose one action. If you fail by three or more, lose two actions instead. Okay, I don't think we care if we lose actions. Our alarm we can only we can't fail by three or more. So yeah, this is actually pretty fine. So we're gonna test uh Three versus two, which is our alarm level. Okay, minus one, so we don't even fail. And then Luke will get a moon beast. This is the other moon beast. Victory one. So their arm, alarm level is going up by one. I guess we're getting these victory guys out right away. He is not a hunter, so that is a thing. All right. Yeah, Tommy's gonna struggle. He can to, to defeat that moon beast, I think. Hmm. We need, we need Sergeant Monroe to die, I think. So we can get ammo on Becky. Well, we can we can save up for a little bit. I did want to try to reduce Luke's alarm level. But we can't commit anything to this. Is it we get we have the shriveling, don't we? We do have shriveling. Which we could shrivel, be it. Ugh. All right, uh, yeah, so we're going to use another charge on our gate box. Go to the Dream Gate and leave the Moon Beast behind. We will Mr. Rook. We're looking for nine deep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. 
Do we want Diana? Do we want... I wanted to get the... Uh, well, the Holy Rosary would be so good for boosting our willpower. I feel like that's what we want to do, although Diana would be nice. We're going to go ahead and grab it. Especially with the alarm going up. And that human beast is not easy to hit. I wonder if I could hit this intellect test for Luke to remove his stuff. We have to play the tower though. Take a resource, play the tower, be at three, four, five. Yeah, I don't see. Tommy could commit what I found to it, and he could do the negative three. Is it worth investing all this time? Well, we could, going ahead and get, getting rid of the tower feels good. So, okay, so Luke will Pathfinder to here. Although, helping Tommy do it is even a better play, actually. Now, we'll just, uh, okay, so we'll action. So we, we, we haven't taken an action yet. <laughs> action one, we'll take this. Action two, we will play the tower so we can commit cards to Tess. And then action three, we'll take a resource so we can play Holy Rosary next turn. And then, yeah, okay, this sounds good. All right, Tommy is going to... Uh, do we kill Sergeant Monroe so we can get more ammo? I think we do. All right, so Tommy is going to go ahead. He'll, he'll do the, the, the test here, the five intellect, and he will, um, uh, problem is, is we're up by, we need another intellect icon. We can commit to this, because three, four, five, six, seven, we, five we're just gonna do it okay so we're committing this which gives attack of opportunity which uh will do the last bit of damage to him and it's a win so we can exhaust him to do a damage back to the cats from saturn and it kills him and he had uh so i actually uh, i changed my mind here Instead of doing this, um, we will, uh, the song goes, that was not, and we will take a horror and put it on Sergeant Moreau. He had two damage, two horror. This gets ammo, we'll get resources. So we don't take the attack opportunity, so he doesn't take the damage. So we can get some more ammo. We can get five ammo and resources. We'll take how much ammo? One, two, one, two, three. And then let's take four or five resources there. Okay, and that's faxed action. And we got we healed some of uh, horror there. Okay, um, so we will go ahead and attack. Use this to attack the cats of Saturn. So we're at uh, four, five, six to be two. So that's actually only minus two. I was thinking that it was minus three, and we were, sorry, I'm used to, <laughs> I've been playing this on hard. Uh, and that's why I was going through all these uh, pains in my head about needing to be three up, but I don't need to be three up. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so uh, he's dead, and we will go ahead and we will commit, look what I found. And uh, Luke will commit six cents. So he's at three, four, five, six, seven, two up to be five on this test to lower his alarm level. The best shot we got, so here's hoping. Zero. Okay, so we reduce his alarm level. So that feels good. Feels real good. All right. Invested a lot of actions in that, but now we've cleared the tower, which just feels good as well. 
All right, so we got one more action left. I don't think we need to move. We will spend three to put something, uh, yeah, something worth fighting for into play, uh, which will then allow us to uh, to take some more horror off of uh, off of Luke. All right, so here we go. We are uh, in upkeep. We'll get a card. We get a Randolph Carter. Oh, we needed him in a bad way and a resource because he will boost our fight so we can kill that Moon Beast. All right, and then uh, Luke will get Storm Spirits. We're going to hold on to that for a while. That is a nice card, though. All right, and all this is where it needs to be. Okay. We're at 105 Doom. And we will draw another Corsair's of Ling. Oh my goodness. This is just too much. Okay. And then uh, Luke will get Close Watch. We're going to have to discard. What would we be discarding? Our Sixth Sense? The Tower Asset? Oh yeah, we can get rid of the Tower. Awesome. <laughs> we don't care about this at all. Okay, so uh, test four. Yep. We can discard the tower. Looking brilliant that I played that. <laughs> okay, we're at three, four. We will name the um, the uh, tablet because I don't want to raise my one level if I draw it. If I fill with the tablet. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, it, that is... Okay, so we have to discard asset with the highest cost. That is indeed... The tower. There's my discard. Okay, so let's go. Um, first thing Luke is going to do, he'll spend two resources to play uh, the uh, Holy Rosary. We will, we'll just put this down here. Um, next action. We will, or for free trigger, we'll move a horror onto something worth fighting for. We will Pathfinder and Luke will, or um, Tommy will safeguard to go with him into this. So we're taking one action. We're going to investigate up by, we're at uh, four, five, six, seven, let's beat four. And we will name the negative four token on Recall the Future. Okay, that is negative two. Okay. So we got this clue. We have one action left. We're just gonna take a resource because we really need to be prepped. Uh, so, unfortunate, but these courses of wing are slowing us down. All right, so Tommy will take a shot against the courses of wing. Four, five, six, three, two. We just need to get Randolph Carter down. Minus three, that's two damage. Okay, we're gonna use Becky again. Six, three, two. zero they are dead and then for our last action we will spend three resources to put Randolph Carter into play and at least then maybe we'll be able to take out the moon beast next time and get our alarm level down okay it is time for uh, let's draw cards so Tommy will draw Thompson which we don't need but we might want for the icon Luke will get Hawkeye Folding Camera. Literally one turn too late. All right, two resources. We will get all right, two of five zoom. And we will draw 
close watch. We're going to have to discard what? Probably something worth fighting for if we fail this, which we will fail this. I don't want to get rid of Randolph Carter, so that's fine. Okay, uh, so we're going, at, we're, we're testing our agility, which is two, versus our alarm level, which is two, and can't do anything about this. We have won, so we have failed. At least we didn't lose our alarm level. And we have to get rid of something worth fighting for. We have nothing worth fighting for right now. Okay, and then Luke will get Ancient Evils. Okay. Luke is going to grab a resource, see if we can get three, so spend three resources, and we're going to play out Shriveling. That's four charges. I realize I'm really worried about that, uh, that one that makes you discard if we discard six cents, we are going to be in such trouble. That's going to be... Oh, six cents is only three, so we can actually discard shriveling instead. So we've protected ourselves. Okay, that's good. Okay, um, I'm worried about that one. Uh, it, if I lost six cents, man, it'd be tough. And there's that one that makes you discard your highest uh, thing. But we could discard Mr. Rook with lots of things. Okay, so anyway, we um, are going to uh, Pathfinder, which we have not Pathfinder yet. And, uh, he won't, man, like all of my stuff. Okay, safeguard. Now move in with the Pathfinder. All right, so Moon Beast. Okay, so we'll have him go on Tommy. And then we are going to take a shot. We are at 5v5. Gross. That one actually not really want to go at 5v5. We really don't, but we commit this Hawkeye folding camera to go 6v5. The skulls, it's a lot of work. A few extra damage. So maybe playing the shriveling wig wasn't our best move. I guess we'll just uh, we'll just grab a resource. So grab the resource, play the shriveling, pathfinder it in, and then we'll just hopefully Tommy can just kill this guy. All right. So Tommy's going at four five sixty five, which doesn't seem. Oh no, wait. He's got a Randolph Carter, so he's at four. Five, six, seven, eight, five. So yeah, single shot. Seven, eight, five. We're going off Carter. Minus three. So we fail. He retaliates. So we have to get damage and horror. All right, we are going to go at, again, seven to beat five. Now I wish I had taken that uh, opportunity to do the uh, shriveling. Zero, it takes two damage. And last shot. Seven to beat five. Okay, we got plus one, so it's two more damage to him. 
Okay, cool. So now it is the end of the phase, and he will hit Randolph Carter for damage and a horror. We'll shuffle back him and put four ammo onto Becky. What I should have done with Luke was try to do that uh, willpower test. That would have been a better better use of my time than taking a resource. So. Okay. It's time for upkeep. And we'll draw a church keepsake. And a resource. Might want to be getting that flamethrower out soon enough. And Luke with and they deny existence. And a resource. Okay. We're at four or five doom. And we will get hunted by Corsairs. So we're attached to the current act. When it advances, each investigator takes two damage. And you can do a test for will, uh, intellect or, or agility to get rid of it, which doesn't seem like it's going to happen. And we get a deeper slumber. Okay. So we're reducing our hand size. All right. I think Luke is going to go ahead and go first. Uh, I would like to get down my thing. We would be. No. Um, that's fine. Tommy will go first. So he is going to take a shot with Becky, commit steadfast to be three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. To be five, kill this moon beast. Okay, that is minus one. So the moon beast is dead. Goes into the victory display. So we got dealt with both of those, thankfully. All right. And we can actually take two actions to clear Luke's deeper slumber, which seems like a good use of our time. Yeah, we could put down the chair keepsake, but I'm not worried about it. He'll take two actions to clear this from Luke. Okay, Luke is going to now spend, um, he'll spend his clues. So two clues to advance the act. They will each take two damage from the Hunted by Corsairs. Hmm. Might have been worth having True Grit out for that, but whatever. We will put a damage on Mr. Rook and a damage on Luke. And we'll put two damage on Tommy. And we will advance this. While the majority of the temple is dedicated to an idle moon-dwelling creatures referred to as moon lizard, you also find several references to some kind of primordial black ooze far beneath the surface that binds together the core of the moon. These texts imply that the whole of the moon's surface is connected by this core across multiple dimensions. Perhaps we can use it to cross over to the moon's other side, Randolph suggests. Or to the afterlife, Virgil adds. Yes, one or the other, Randolph replies nonchalantly. It's still our only option. But the set-aside caverns beneath the moon, dark side, and the black core locations in the play spawn the set-aside moon lizard at the black core, exhausted. Shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. All right. So. We get these two locations here. I'll move this up so there is and. Here is the black core down here, and we have trying to make room here. <laughs> oh, they're each of their 
alarm levels went down, thankfully. Okay, and um, so this is connected. Let's see here and here. We're going deep. And just for reference, this black core says the path to the moon's core is long and winding. You cannot enter the black core. While the caverns beneath the moon, dark side, that's this one, has clues on it. And then we have to spawn the moon lizard, which has eight health. And it's it's X, which is it's engaged with investigator, then investigator's alarm level. So, Moon Lizard, and it says exhausted, right? Yeah. All right, so that was our first, we would like to get our alarm level down. Let's see, going at one up is okay. Well, we will do this test, we're at five. Uh, we're at five, we'll commit, because of the Holy Reservoir, we'll commit the Hawkeye on camera to be six. So we're six V five on this, we're up by one. And we will uh, say, recall the future is the negative two. This is to reduce our alarm level. All right, that is minus one. So we are successful and we reduce our alarm level. Okay, so that was action one. We will pathfinder to here, and of course, we will safeguard a wall. And we will move for our second action into the caverns beneath the moon, which is a shroud of six. Forced after you fail a skill test while investigating the caverns beneath the moon, until the end of your turn, reduce its shroud by two. So. Four, five, six, seven. We're at seven v six. We're up by one. So we will uh, use the negative two. It's our last action. We're uh, negative two and recall the future. Oh, it's an auto fail. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this guy readies. Just a little bit of a problem. And we'll draw cards and resources. Get, oh, a beat cop. Excellent. Okay. A beat cop. I'll need that. And we will get Diana Esperance. Okay. Also, something that I want. Can't play her yet. All right, and this is going to advance. Okay, so, okay, your escape route is cut off. This pack of the uh, white creatures surround you. At first glance, you believe them to be cats, but they are only vaguely cat-like in shape. What you mistook for fur is more akin to a series of patterns, like strange uh, filigrees. You silently pray for aid and shuffle the encounter into this bird and raise each investigator's alarm level by one. Oof. Okay. Okay, I think we will want to get a resource or do we get a card? We have enough to play the beat com. I guess we'll draw a card for no we'll we'll get a resource. Okay, and then Virgil Gray goes over here. Okay, so we're shuffling the encounters card behind the encounter deck. And then um, if the investigators force their way into the temple, we did, but nobody comes. The lead investigator searches the encounter deck and discards the tile for one copy, copy of Cats of Saturn and draws it. The lead investigator being Tommy. So we will get a Cats of Saturn. Which has Swarming 2, so it gets 2 here. Okay, and then Luke will 
look at oh we should um before we do that we should the next agenda all right they're upon you the entirety of the moon's denizens are set against you now behind every corner is a, gr a group of corsairs lies in wait now a pack of hunting cats lurks to herd you toward its vicious masters the skies above swarm with winged beasts and black galleys you cannot find a way back to the earth and you will surely be captured and it tells us that the game will not end when this engine advances but the ancients so narrow with tap will tighten their noose yes indeed all right so let's see okay so now we draw encounter cards and this is getting a little bit scary okay deeper slumber okay it's actually probably something he can live with. And we get an ancient evils, okay? Well, it is what it is. All right, let me think about this. I do want Diana's bronze out. But maybe I don't need her out just yet. I do have the Storm of Spirits. It cost me three for Luke. And we can investigate, investigate, and Storm of Spirits to kill all the cats. All right, so Luke will play Storm of Spirits on the cats from Saturn. He is going to recall the future on negative four. So he's at five v two with the negative, and then uh, recall the future on negative four. It's negative two. So they are all dead. Okay, now he's going to investigate at 76. Bring the negative two on the public feature. Okay, that is negative one. We do not fail. Get the clue. And we're gonna do it again. Seventy-six. Okay, half your alarm level, which is again one. Get the clue. Okay, Tommy's turn. He is going to spend four resources to play the beat cop. And he will play the church keepsake. And then I think we will take a resource so that we have time. We have, we're able to play other stuff. Okay, so the moon lizard will come in. And he will whack Tommy for three damage and three horror. Okay, we will put the two horror on the church keepsake, which will give us two ammo on Becky. And we will put, let's see. I'm going to say we'll put two damage on the beat cop. Okay. And it's time for upkeep. Tommy will draw. There's Church Keepsake again. He gets a resource. Luke will get another Holy Rosary, which may come in handy and a resource all right two or four doom need to get this done please don't think that slows us down we'll get dreamers curse okay it's five willpower for each point you fail by take one damage to a maximum of three damage hmm what can luke commit to this he can commit commit the holy rosary And Tommy can commit true grit. Okay. 
So we'll commit the True Grit and the Holy Rosary will be, uh, that's four icons, so we're at three, four, five, six, seven, B5 is pretty good. I really prefer not to take too much damage now. Okay, that is minus one, so he passes. And Luke will get, okay, hunted by Corsairs. Okay, this is just gonna do damage to everybody again. Okay, so, I think it is time for Tommy to do great things. He will take a shot with Becky. We're at four, five, uh, four, five, six, seven, V, two. Okay, that is reveal another token. If you fail and your alarm level is higher than your modified skill value. Okay, plus one. We don't have to do math. <laughs> All right, so it's two damage. One, two, and then lizard. Okay, let's take another shot. Okay, that is two more damage onto the moon lizard. We'll take a third shot. Or four of eight damage on him. Okay, minus two. That's two damage. All right, it is now Luke's turn. Luke will take a charge from Shriveling, going at five V2. Called feature on negative four. Uh, he does take a horror from that, which we'll put on our Holy Rosary. Oh, we can solve now, though, and we'll take one of our horror, put it onto the beat cop. And then this guy is dead. He goes into the victory display. So we got some victory points. Now we can just get out of here. All right, so we will Pathfinder in, and of course. Tommy goes with, and we're into the black core. All right, so, so this is Shroud X. There are two clues here. X is the number of depth tokens on the black core, and that would be nine, because we put three resources on it as depth tokens plus additional three per investigator. And you can test two willpower or two fight to swim through the dark lake at the moon's core. For each point you succeed by, remove one depth from the black core. All right, so. We will just put some resource tokens on here so we can keep track easily of what that is. Keep them separate from the clue tokens. With two actions left, we're gonna to try to remove some of these. We're at five V2. Uh, so we will choose the skulls on our call the future as they are the most numerous. That is zero. We succeeded by three, so we get removed by three. So the shroud is now six, and we will do it again. Call the features on the skulls. Five or two. Minus one, so we remove two. So the shroud is now four. Okay, four is definitely a beatable shroud. So it is time, Tommy will get card, he gets chairs keepsake, and a resource, 
and work that shortcut Add a resource. Okay. We are at three of four here. I'm gonna draw encounters. We get forced into hiding. Okay, with your alarm level. So the most we can lose is one action. So we're going at 3v2 here. We don't want to commit anything to this. Okay, that's zero. So pass, no actions lost, and look what it's, oh, hunted by Corsairs. Okay, this is a problem because we're gonna take Four damage. And we advance the act, but I don't have a way of beating that really. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, Tommy is going to go first and look for. He'll just start drawing. Well, he'll play Cherish Keepsake. I want to get out like a Xavier, would be the ideal, but I can't afford it anyway. Well, we're going to play the Cherish Keepsake. I know we're going to do that. That's action one. Action two, draw a card. It's going to be a lucky, interesting. Do we have a way of trying to test that four? We're at three v four. Hmm. Not really. Okay, last action, we'll just draw. Randolph Carter. Wish I could have him in play, but it's fine. Next turn. Okay, uh, so Luke. Well, I mean, we could kill off Mr. Rook and deny existence on one of those. And okay, what we're going to do is, as much as I hate to just waste this time, he's going to take two resources to get into four, and then spend four resources to put out Diana Esperance and attach deny existence to her, and she will have three charges on her. And that was his whole turn. But we can get the clues next time. This will just provide us some, some survivability, I think. Yeah. Okay. Upkeep. Tommy will get Brother Savior a little bit too late. Not actually too late. And a resource, because he can play it next turn. Yeah. And Luke will get the Hawkeye folding camera. Right. So they are upon you. Here we go. Advancing this. Okay. There is nowhere left to run. Raise each investigated alarm level by one. So yeah. each investigated alarm level by one and Luke will take a resource and give back Virgil. Okay, and then uh, each investigator takes horror equal to half their alarm level rounded up. So Tommy will take two, which he'll put on Caricature's Keepsake, which he'll just put on Becky as Emerald, I guess. Makes sense. And Luke can take two horror, it's not a big deal. We could deny existence on this, but we don't certainly need to. Okay. That will come later. All right, so that's what that is. And then we put it back and it's get to doom. So we're gonna do all this again in just a second. And then we will draw an encounter. But Tommy will be the moon bound by a key. It's bound in the nearest service location. It's going to, uh, it's going to hunt. Yeah. So the nearest service location is right here. I should have put a connector there, which I didn't do. So I'll do that.
Hope nobody's been freaking out the whole video about that connection missing. All right, and then we'll get a Corsair of Lang near city or service location. So we can put it up here. Okay, so we can just run away from those guys. So it is time. Tommy is going to play three, four, five resources to play. Cherish Keepsake, he is going to play, or sorry, five resources to play Brother Xavier. He's going to play a Cherish Keepsake. Now he's got Horror Healing, and we will take a resource so that we're ready for to play Randolph Carter. Okay. Can he test Intellect? I don't think so. It'd save us all some damage, but I think we're just going to let Xavier take all the damage. I think that's the plan. Okay, so time for Luke. He can investigate with his sixth sense. He's at uh, seven V four. We will put negative four on uh, call the future. Okay, that is negative one. Give a clue. I'm gonna do the same thing. Negative two. Okay, awesome. So that is we get this. That makes that means we have to let's see. Each surviving investigator the black core and has no clues advanced. We have to advance, which means they, they each take four damage from these hunted by Corsairs. So I'm going to play Deny Existence by Luke to get rid of to deny two of that damage, and I will uh, take a charge and play the deny existence off Diana Esperance. Actually, maybe I won't do that. Maybe I'll just let her take two damage because she can take damage for me. And then uh Tommy will put a damage on Beat Cop and then two damage. So I'll put a damage on Beat Cop, which means Beat Cop is at, gives him five resources, and we'll just take it as resources, I think. Three, four, five. And then he'll take a damage and put two on Brother Xavier. Brother Xavier is ready to pop. <laughs> okay. uh, and then we get to read the back of this. The lake of black ichor below the surface of the moon is miles wide and bubbles with warm, noxious pockets of gas. Most of the lake bed is completely solid, and it seems for a moment that Randolph's plan is a dead end after all. Then you take a final step, and your foot is caught by nothing. Before you can react, you are yanked under the surface. You try to shout a warning to your companions, but your words are swallowed by the black core, along with the rest of your body. Your lungs barely have air. You struggle not to scream as you are carried by a fierce undertow. When you finally emerge, you are in another chamber, just like the one you came from. Only you can see a shaft of light piercing through the gray crust above you. Moments later, the rest of your party emerges. Did we make it? Virgil asks. Why, well, I thought that was the end for sure. This will make an exciting chapter. But this is aside caverns beneath the moon, light side, light side of the moon, and the white ships in white ship locations into play. So we have these locations. Um, of note, the light side of the moon says you cannot enter it. Uh, well, the caverns beneath the moon, light side, has clues on it. So we're going to have to clear clues. And then the white ship says. Mysterious ship's captain cannot let you aboard until pursuing moon beasts have retreated. You cannot enter the white ship while your alarm level is five or higher. Well, fortunately, we're at three, so that's okay. We'll see. All right, so we will. Uh, we have one action left. We'll Pathfinder, and of course, we're going to safeguard go with. And we get to the cowards beneath the moon. We have to get these clues off. 
Not surprisingly, it's exactly like the dark side. It's a uh, Shroud 6. There are two clues, and after you fail a scale test, uh, uh, the Shroud is reduced by two. So we are investigating at seven. Makes me wonder if it's worth playing the Hawkeye folding camera. Just get my willpower up just a little bit. I don't think so. All right, so we are at uh, 7v6. We will commit this uh, shortcut. I just don't see us using it. And so we are at 8v6, and we will choose the negative 3. Minus one. We got a clue. Okay. Good deal. All right, so all of this hunts to here. We got to go fast. And we'll get a take the initiative. Nice. And a resource. Luke will get emergency cash. And resource. All right, we are at three and four doom. And we will draw counters. It's close watch, okay. If he fails this, we are going to lose Brother Xavier, which I mean is okay, I guess. We're at two. We can go three, four, five with lucky in hand. So that seems good. Five before with lucky in hand. Okay, zero. We pass. Power of lucky. And take the initiative. Both good cards. Okay, and then we... Oh, here's Close Watch again. And we probably can't beat this. So we will uh, name the tablet on the Call the Future. And we're at 3v4. So what will we lose? Probably Mr. Rook, I would guess. Huh. So it's negative one, but we uh, exhaust Recall the Future. It gives us plus two, right? So that actually makes us pass. So, yeah. Let's go at 7v6. Uh, Naming the uh, negative. Oh, we can't name anything. We have to call the future. Okay, so we'll commit the Hawkeye folding camera to be 8v6. That by 2 is good. Okay, that is uh, minus 2. We are 8v6, so we got the clue. We can now enter. So we will Pathfinder. And said guard. And to the light side of the moon. Okay, so this is a shroud five, two clues. You can test intellect one or agility one to attempt to hide among the ruins. For every three points you succeed by, reduce your alarm level by one. Limit one success per round. Okay. So I don't see that happening. And we got it, it has to be five or four or lower which were four or lower so i just want to try to get these two clues and then move into the white ship i think that is our plan and maybe not have to worry about lowering our alarm level okay so we're at 75 we're going to investigate 75 because victory points we want victory points <laughs> always want victory points 
75. Okay, that is minus two. So we get a clue. And 75. Zero. Okay, we got the clue. All right, can we do anything about reducing our alarm level? I don't think so. But we can do things. We can spend three resources to play Randolph Carter. So now we have more soak. And I guess we can draw cards for like icons, I guess. So he'll draw a card and get the vicious blow. And he will draw a card. Another cherish keepsake. Those keep cherish keepsakes are good when you keep taking horror. All right, it's the end of the turn. These two guys hunt to the black core. We'll draw a card and get a resource. And there's a look what I found, so we can reduce our our uh, alarm level possibly. And then Luke will get a shriveling. Okay, it doesn't seem useful. Four. Okay. Then this agenda advances, which we already know, where it raises our alarm level. So he'll take two horror, which we will put on Xavier, I guess. Or we can put on the cherish keepsake. We'll put on the cherish keepsake and give us resources. Yeah, seems good. So we've got another one in hand. And then uh, Virgil Gray has to go over. And we'll take a resource. For, we'll, we'll draw a card. And we'll get Scene of the Crime. Okay, and he has to take two horror, which he will just use okay, in response on her denied existence to deny that that horror even exists. Okay, now we have to draw cards and we will get Sound of Phobia. For each point you fail by, take one horror to a maximum of three horror. Okay, so what can we commit to this? Um, so we're at three, we can commit four. Five, we'll go five v five. Taking horror is not gonna kill us. You put it on the in front. Right. All right, I'm gonna keep the vicious blow. We'll just go four v five. Something might show up that will cause us pain. <laughs> we could draw an enemy here. Okay, is that it? Oh no! <laughs> okay, so we were at four v. Five that gets us to, so we will spend one resource to be lucky to pass this so that we don't raise our alarm level. Oh. Let's hear it for lucky. Okay, and then, because if we had the five, we have to get it down before we move into the ship. Okay, and then uh, Luke will get Dreamer's Curse. This is the same same kind of deal. Uh, he's testing his willpower, which is five right now. So we'll commit a shriveling to be six. And we will uh, we'll name the skulls. Hey, okay, uh, so maybe I didn't want to do that, actually, now that I think about it. But we pass, so we don't take any horror, so that's fine. But now that's exhausted, so that's a thing. Okay, we will, um, we'll Pathfinder. 
I don't remember what this last test is. And uh, you will, of course, safeguard to go in to the white ship. You know, I never did read this unexpected rescue, right, which I should have done. It just says, the surface, of the surface of the light side of the moon is patrolled by ships that sail through the windless sky. One, however, looks different from the rest. Its hull is stark and shining, casting a white glow into the night. The white ship, breathes Randolph. Objective, find a way off the moon. You will be instructed when to advance. So, spoiler, that's what we're about to find out. Okay, so... We're here now. They one shroud, zero clue. You cannot enter the white ship while your alarm level is five or higher. We are at four, both of them. After the white ship is revealed, put a set aside captain story asset into play at the white ship. So let's look at the captain story asset. And he is, if action, if each undefested investigator is at the white ship, parlay test willpower X or intellect X to convince the captain to sail. X is the highest alarm level among the investigators. If you succeed, advance the act. Uh, any investigator at the white ship may activate this ability. All right, so let's do this thing. Uh, we are at 5v4 and... We don't have a lot. So uh, we will commit the church keepsake to this. Uh, Tommy will. So we're at 6v4. I wish I hadn't used my, uh, my recall the future. So this is action one, 6v4. Minus one, okay, cool. So we parlay, and we're done. Get off the ship. With your party safely aboard the white ship, you beseech the captain to leave the moon at once. You have no desire to stay in this perilous place any longer than you have to. Not yet, the captain replies with an amiable smile. You plead with him, but he raises a hand in a gesture of silence, peering into the distance. You squint against the light from the sun, which hangs static in the dark sky. There, miles away, you spot the spot the thing that drew the captain's eye. A bird with many wings and even more colors. Its feathers bright and vivid. It perches on a ruined stone structure and preens itself. Then, just as your patience is beginning to wear thin, it launches itself into space and the captain pulls up the ship's anchor. R1. All right, so we did it. We did it, and we get quite a bit of victory points. It looks like we got uh, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine victory points. Nine victory points. And I did um, meant to say that, uh, so the black cat is with the other team, so they actually had the harder bag, more of the uh, tablet tokens. So, um, but this felt pretty good. I, uh, I've really struggled with this scenario, but uh, it always feels like a nail biter at the end when you get that high alarm. Um, but can't you that ancient evil is the beginning that help and I think just, you know, Luke is good. And I, I think I might be finally figuring out how to play um, Tommy. Seems like I was recurring a lot more, uh, a lot more of his assets. So felt good. I didn't get the flamethrower out, but I guess I didn't need to. So anyway, all right. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you um, had a good time watching this. And uh, we are next time going to be... Uh, looking at the waking side uh, with uh, Tony and Mandy, although they are going to be moving into the Dreamlands, but uh, a waking version of the Dreamlands. So uh, excited uh, to do that. That is going to be the point of no return, which, of course, we've got uh, Dark Side of the Moon, Point of No Return, two albums from the 70s. <laughs> anyway, uh, i uh, looking forward to that one. I will see you guys next time on Winging It.